In the case of the First Republic, uh, independence came entirely unexpected because of the collapse of the Russian Empire, because of the Turkish invasion uh, that was taking place in 1918. In a desperate move, the Armenian leaders tried to save what was left of their historic territories by declaring independence. They were not necessarily uh, the best qualified. They had not had much experience in governance of a sovereign state, but they put their heart and soul into it and they lived like the people, with the people. They didn't try to pocket anything. They didn't try to get extra rations. Alexander Khatisian, who was formerly the mayor of uh, Tiflis, the largest city in the Caucasus, had a huge mansion in uh, Tiflis, which is now Georgia, Tbilisi. But he came to Yerevan, and he lived in a one-room apartment, you know, above a store. And Aram Manukyan, who was one of the real founders of the Republic, defending it at the Battle of Sardarabad and Bashabaran, lived with the people to a degree that he also caught typhus and died. So there was a real dedication. Should they have maybe taken a different political orientation? Maybe so. Maybe they should have not um, relied so much on the Western powers as they did, but they didn't see any other alternative because if they had opted for Soviet rule, as was an option in May of 1921, they may have been able to hold on to cars in Ardahan, but the Soviets even then were demanding that the Armenians relinquish all claims to Ottoman territories. And for an Armenian leader, the conditions of uh, 1920, it was impossible for them to renounce their claims to Vaughan and to Sasun and, and other areas.